Hello, I'm Steven Weigel, and the idea I want to present about is microtonality, or as it is more correctly called, Zen harmonics. I will use the two terms interchangeably. Now, microtonality is a musical term that has to do with pitch and the way things are tuned. In the West and in Europe, Occidental countries, we use 12-tone equal temperament as our tuning system, and we're the only ones, although 12-tone has spread to Japan. However, we have only used 12-tone equal temperament for about a century, and other tuning systems evolved to form the basis of 12-tone equal temperament. This is an indisputable fact, yet microtonality is suspiciously ignored in music education and even dismissed as irrelevant, or not even music theory. This is a travesty, as it is a vital part of music theory-based education. However, I've only met four people other than me at Ball State who even consider the subject. Again, the definition of microtonality in the West is just anything that is not 12-tone equal temperament. When you play the notes on a piano, white and black, going up the chromatic scale one at a time, you can hear that the notes are an equal distance apart, and that's what makes it equal tempered uh, with 12 notes on our piano. This is certainly no accident, but also not the only relevant tuning. Exclusively studying 12-tone equal is not bad, but its overuse in music education has fostered some very strange misconceptions. Our Malou's understanding of consonance, pleasing sound, and dissonance, harsh sound, is warped. For one thing, we are taught in 12 equal that thirds and sixths are consonances. This is only somewhat true in 12 equal, as 12 equal is not truly in tune in this respect. Thirds and sixths can also be dissonant. Consonance and dissonance should not merely be apprehended through a 12 equal framework. It is also implied that microtonality is a bizarre esoteric experiment, like new music or computer music are thought to be. Also not even close to true, people have experimented with tuning since tuning existed, and experimentation with tuning brought about 12 equal in the first place. If we have to study music theory from another country, we need to convert to a non-12-tone system. So there's a huge part of the subject of music theory that's actually missing uh, if we study non-Western music, and our music theory classes should really be called Western tonality classes, mostly. Zen harmonics is actually more closely associated with the study of music theory, which never limits itself to 12 tones only. And yet, people think 12 equal forms the basis of music theory. Yet another misconception. Uh, major composers have always taken the time to study it and comment on it. With some truly revelatory insights, examples include Parch, Schoenberg, Bartok, Hindemith, really anyone from the 20th century. These comments are simply left out, as is anything about harmony that isn't 12 equal. It's a bit frustrating to know that in a culture obsessed with harmony, we limit ourselves to studying a very narrow interpretation of harmony. Uh, microtonality isn't new, it's as old as music, uh, but its importance has slipped ever since the mass production of 12 equal instruments. There's a need to include it in music theory again, as music theory used to mean the study of harmony, which is Zen harmonics. We only study 12-tone harmony. This is something that desperately needs more inclusion, but is regarded as an obscure niche. If we choose to completely ignore the nature of harmony in our studies of harmony, we should at least label ourselves properly and stop calling Western tonality music theory and non-Western music world music. I'm an expert because I'm currently developing a Zen harmonic set theory to use in the post-tonal theory classroom to aid with the understanding of intervallic relationships in Zen harmony. I presented on this theory at the student symposium and composition seminar last year, and the project is the bulk of my honors thesis this year. Most of my peer review has come from online microtonal experts, as few people at Ball State have a thorough grasp of the subject. However, it is understandable and relevant to them. Thank you for watching. This has been Stephen Weigel on the topic of microtonality and its relevance.